Good evening and welcome to Options Tenor. It is Thursday, 8, 10, 23. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us. We're going to do SPX on multiple time frames. Um, starting off the weekly instead of the monthly this time, we'll do the monthly on the weekend update. But we do have um, a couple of individual names that we'll look at just on the lower time frame. We're looking for a quick pop. We got one on Microsoft today, but we're really focusing on Microsoft and Tesla for a move tomorrow. Could follow through into Monday, but I think that um, tomorrow may be the big move for the market, the counter trend to finish off perhaps. And then we're looking to start to uh, short the market. Now, with that said, we'll look on the daily time frame. We'll be able to see it better, but the market could could just continue to the downside at this point. I don't think that's the case, and I'll show you why. So let's jump into it. Don't forget to hit that like button and help support the channel. We have SPX on the weekly time frame. Let's go ahead and look without all of these indicators yet. We're looking at the, uh, some traditional technical analysis. We have this rise, rising pivot. It's given us a little trouble. We back tested it and rejected. Now we're sitting on the 8 EMA, which is our trend indicator for any time frame. this being the weekly. Uh, so that's why you're seeing a reaction off of this point that also coincides with the trend line, the uptrend line here as well. So we do think this is going to break, but we're not quite sure if we had a far enough retracement at this point. If you look at this retracement here, for example, that probably goes right up to the 62% retracement there and then continue to the downside. Here we, we barely had um, maybe the 382 retracement. We'll see when we get a little bit on a lower time frame. But uh, bringing on the some of these uh, indicators, we have the MACD curling down. We have the histogram moving down. And that was actually a, a first sign of weakening uh, momentum here. We have a negative divergence on RSI. We have a sell signal on the Stoke RSI. Once we get under that 80 line, that's a sell signal on the weekly time frame. So we have some time to go. This is a fast moving one. So um, this one, the slow moving, you see how we haven't even really got a sell signal yet. It's happening right there. It's kind of an early cross, if you want to call it yet. But uh, we have lots of time to head to the downside. So I think this is going to head much, much lower. So let's go ahead and move over to the daily time frame. Daily trend is our friend. And what we're trying to see here is, are we going to get the reversal? I, I think we're already in a progress of reversing to the upside for a larger uh, correction. We're being pushed and rejected off of that 8 EMA, which is a trend indicator. So that's, you know, that's bearish, you guys. We have a um, graveyard or an inverted hammer. So that could be a reversal candle in itself. And that's, um, you know, that could be continuation. We just have to see whether or not we continue to the downside, the next bar, or if we get our reversal that we are playing. We are, uh, we have a pretty big position um, into Friday, a couple positions, and we are also hedged out in the future for next week. Uh, weeklies uh, with some um, triple, uh, the SQQQ, the SPSXS, SPXS, um, TNA. So those are some of the uh, TNZ, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Um, so what are we looking for? We're, in, we're at support right now. We're at the support of these two peaks here. We have that um, trend line just underneath us. We have a gap here that's giving us a little bit of support. And uh, while we're we're seeing this curl over, you kind of see that there's a there's a trend line. I know it's a little bit more difficult here and we're, we're right at that trend line. So that's a possible, uh, you know, at least reaction at this point from the MACD. And then we have slight divergence, positive divergence on this low because we made a new low with this bar today. And um, we are in oversold territory which could stay there but um at least we know that um you know perhaps these need to reset a little bit and move price move up uh somewhat so we'll see it a lot better on the 65 minute chart 
So let's head down there. Oh, you know what? Let's let's head back to the daily. Sorry to waste your time here. I, I want to just make sure that we get some of the un other indicators. We have our, let's see here. Do, 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 do. This is our Bollinger Band look. Clear that up a bit. So you see we're trending to the downside. I think it's about time we could easily um, go, we could uh, retrace a bit and then head right back down underneath the ADM EMA. It doesn't have to. We could push off of this, but it just appears that something is holding us there. So if this breaks, we, we continue much further down much faster because that would be a much more bearish setup, especially on the Elliott wave. So um, taking a look at uh, the McClellan Oscillator, we are in oversold territory. Uh, this might actually be some sort of divergence. If not, it's got kind of a double bottom there. As we make new lows, though, we're not um, we're not going much lower on the oscillator. So that's something to take a look at. Um, now we can go down to that 65 minute. Sorry, we got the uh, kids in the background kind of going crazy. All right, let's go ahead and take off the oscillator i'm still working with these new uh all these you know if you've been with my channel for some time i've been using um i this new pin up here i figured out how to do that and uh, added on a couple new oscillators we were just going with the macd and the uh rsi and now we have these um slow stoke and the uh, rsi stoke so that's something to, to add a little bit more um conviction to our trades okay so what we have going here we're in a channel we're heading lower highs and lower lows in this channel but we're bouncing off the the bottom of the channel also the support area here so we have all these divergences as we get lower lows as price goes lower we keep bouncing off and getting higher lows in the rsi in the macd the histogram uh, also the RS, the uh, also the Stokes. So we have buy signals all over the place. This is gonna give. I feel like it doesn't have to. These are all the indicators are kind of reset at this point. So you know price could easily just dump down and and head much lower than than this uh, eight um, level here on the RSI, for example, or at least set a double bottom there. But uh, yeah, so we have these positive divergences looking at this time frame. So let's go ahead and look at the Elliott Wave picture, take off some of these uh, indicators. And so what I'm looking at is this being a wave one, a wave two, wave three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, but you're thinking, hey, we made another low how do you count that in there? Well, I think we had our, our low for the count here at this low here. We got our reaction in ABC for an A. And we started to um, gather some calls as price got down to the 618 retracement. But as you can see, wave B can, it can go past the wave one before it corrects to the upside. Now, if this is correct and we have an A, a B, the C has to be an impulsive wave. It has to be a five wave move. It has to be aggressive. It's gonna be impulsive. So tomorrow should be quite the up day. If if price does not complete uh, this move all the way up to either the 50 or the 60% per area, then uh, we'll probably see the continuation on to Monday. But I think that's the, um, the case is that uh, we'll probably see this price action move up pretty quick. Uh, with the catalyst in the morning with the PMI. And so I imagine that we'll get our to our price targets pretty quickly. Uh, if if um, then we'll start scaling into some um, put plays and uh, some of those uh, um, uh, SQQQ and some of the triple uh, bearish indicators or indicators, some of the triple bearish uh, uh, ETFs. So 
Um, again, we'll scale into those and then we'll start to look for much lower prices again for the um, for the extension. I'm looking at the third wave after we complete this second wave. We'll be looking to adjust our extension probably around here to this 382 area and that will give us a reaction no matter what because of that being a 382. We also have price levels here. The old 618 retracement from the all time highs. So we have a lot of confluence here that we'll be looking to, to have this wave three get to. That target will be anywhere from this uh, 4,300 to just below, we'll probably spike through, and then uh, we'll get our bouncer reaction from there. That's what we'll be looking for. We can't anticipate, we have to watch price action. But from what we have at this point is, um, if you take the bottom of this wave here, all the way up, to if it does make it and it returns from the 50%, then we're going, we're going to go ahead and keep this level here. If it goes up a little bit deeper, then we'll pull it up a bit and that pulls that um, retracement or that extension up just a little bit as well. But you see it's still in the same territory right here. Now, this all could be over. You know, we had this pullback here. Maybe that was a one, two, a real shallow wave two. If we continue to the downside, then that means we're already in our wave three um, impulse. So that would come, that would probably be, say that like tomorrow would be very bearish. So it'd be fair to say that um, on Friday, tomorrow, if it's bearish, we're going to continue bearish. And for the rest of the uh, next week, we should get a couple bars to the downside impulsively. And if we are um, slightly bullish at all, then we're probably gonna continue our retracement up here for wave two before we head down. So um, we do have uh, do, 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 FOMC minutes next week. That's a good catalyst for something to happen as well. We'll keep an eye on that, that's on Wednesday. So, okay, um, I think that's all we need to show here. And um, anything else we wanna look at? We have expected move for the week. We're right in the middle. We haven't done anything yet. So get ready for a move. We still have in our belts a um, a move down here to the 4380 or, and it doesn't have to touch, probability says we'll touch one of the